brittle nails, dull hair, or a crease in your earlobe. No, you don't need a makeover. These are just subtle clues from your body that something could be seriously wrong. Early Show medical contributor Dr. Holly Phillips joins us in today's Health Watch with so, some not-so-obvious signals that your body is sending that you, well, you really need to pay attention to because it could mean a trip to the doctor wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for you. Uh, absolutely, Chris. I really feel like when you notice these subtle changes, whether they're dangerous or not, it's your body trying to tell you something, so you should listen. Yeah, what are some of the things, especially when you wake up in the morning, is it best to just kind of give yourself a full examination in the mirror? Basically, and just... sure, you can just go head to toe. If you start with your eyebrows, look at the outer edges of your eyebrows. If you notice hair loss, if you notice thinning, if it looks like the eyebrow is actually getting shorter, that is a sign of thyroid disease, specifically low thyroid hormone. Okay. If you move to the inner corner of your eyelids, if you see small yellow waxy bumps, that can be a sign. Those can actually be fatty deposits, a sign of high cholesterol. Hair can tell us a lot. If it's dry and brittle, you might have a low iron level. Um, if you have premature graying, especially for women, that's a sign of B12 deficiency. Uh, and sudden hair loss, it can be from infection, but unfortunately it's most commonly a sign of just stress. Okay, so earlobes, we talked about that, mentioned that a second ago. A crease in your earlobe, never ever heard of this before. What would that be a sign of? Yeah, it's a really subtle sign. Most people don't even notice. But if yep. you have a diagonal crease right in the center of your earlobe, it's actually been linked with heart disease, most specifically, a large NIH study linked with an increased risk of heart attacks. Now, they're not entirely sure why this is. It might have to do with circulation throughout the body, but if you have the crease, you should definitely get screened for heart disease. Of course, we all should get screened yeah. for heart disease. So you really kind of have to be careful with some of these things, because like this earlobe thing that we mentioned, this is serious, heart disease, whereas some of the other things you may have a, a vitamin deficiency. So it's different levels, varying degrees, but you really have to kind of do your, uh, your own research on this. Right. Spider veins. Spider veins, that's something I'm asked about often in practice. People come in, they say I have spider veins or I yeah. have varicose veins. Most commonly people are just healthy. Spider veins happen more as we age. They can happen with weight gain or weight loss, but sometimes you need to pay attention. If you notice a sudden formation of a varicose vein, specifically if your calf is also swollen and painful with that, that's an important sign of a blood clot which can be life-threatening. Spider veins on the abdomen, not on the legs, but on yep. the abdomen can be also be a sign of liver disease. So most people just have these spider veins and varicose veins and they mean nothing, but they can also be serious. Let's talk about fingernails because you see some people's fingernails are an absolute mess, whether it's fungus or whatever the case, right. lines in them, but these do mean some serious issues. Here. Absolutely. We can learn a lot from our fingernails. Dry, brittle nails can be a sign of iron deficiency or thyroid problems. Okay. Now, if you have a horizontal line across the nail, just look at that closely. Uh, vertical Vertical lines are fine, they are usually just heredity. Horizontal lines can be a sign of chronic illness, specifically heart disease. Um, and if the, line, the, if the nail themselves rather are thick and yellow, that's usually a sign of fungus, which is a treatable illness. So Got we should it. always look at our nails. And, and also this is something that uh, we, we talk about breast cancer with women a lot, but mm -hmm. men who have Breast issues can uh, also? Absolutely. You know, if men notice a painless lump on their chest or under their arm, yep. they should really take notice of this. Breast cancer most often happens in women, but 2% of all breast cancers are in men. And unfortunately, men ignore the signs yeah. because they're thinking, that can't happen can't to me. Can't be me, right? But it's something to look for. All right, doctor, thank you very much. Good to see you this morning. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.